Hello guys, this weekend it's Manchester United versus Spurs, so let's get into it, let's cue that intro. Oh no, and welcome back to Matchday Live, and it's me, Dan, back again. And this weekend, we do have the half five kickoff on Saturday. It is Manchester United versus Spurs at Old Trafford. So let's get straight into it. So the team, um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, to be honest. I reckon Ronaldo will be back for this game. Uh, there is talk that Cavani might start as well, uh, but I reckon Ronaldo will be back in this game with Elanga and Sancho on the wings, and obviously for Fernandez. Pogba and Matic. I think he will go with Matic instead of Fred um, because uh, McTominay apparently is a 50 50. Um, obviously, Telez is back as well. Um, Lindelof is. I'm going to put Lindelof in because I, I don't want Harry Maguire in this team, <laughs> just to be honest with you. Um, Varane has said that he's, you know, he's fit to play for this game, so I reckon it will be Varane uh, and Delo, just because, you know, why not? Um, and I know we've got Juan Bissaka, but yeah, and obviously David De Gea in that. So let's get to, let's get to talking. Uh, why do I want to talk about? It? I don't want to talk about it. It's uh, the last game, which was the City Manchester derby. And we absolutely got thrashed. 4-1. Um, to be honest, I, I wasn't expecting it. You know, the first couple... Of, OK, the first minute, five minutes, um, you know, we kind of let them have a goal. You know, uh, uh, Grealish uh, down that left-hand side with um, uh, with Cancelo and Bernardo Silva. It's pretty much terrorised us. And it came... Uh, the first goal came from that side and... Five, you know, three of them against one player. Somehow he gets past all of them, and he just puts it on a plate for um, for uh, Kevin De Bruyne, who wasn't marked. Um, Alex Tellez wasn't marking him. You know, Harry Maguire on no man's land, and uh, he just put it in. And that was the first five minutes, and I was going, I was going, oh my god, what are we going to witness here? Uh, but with then, to be honest, I will give them the doubt. You know, a benefit of the doubt. They, you know, we did get back into the game. Um, we play. We kind of let them have the ball, and we kind of played with Pogba and Bruno Fernandez up front. And in the end, uh, from those, from those, uh, you know, those little, from those two being up front, you know, we had Sancho and Alanga playing on the wing. And uh, we was unlucky not to score, uh, not to score, uh, but we did score through Sancho from a counter attack. And you know we got back into the game one one. I was thinking, all right, here we go. You know, City are giving us chances, and we finally got a chance to score. And you know this could be game on. Um, but then literally what five ten ten, ten minutes later. 2-1, uh, bad defending again. Um, well, it was not. I'm not going to lie. It was, it was a good be a good bit of skill from uh, Foden to get it past. Uh, I think it was Lindelof who tried tackling, and in the end, uh, it, David Haya saved it. And then uh, Harry Maguire. I don't know. He just he just leaves it. He steps over it, and I was, I'm like, what the hell are you doing? Why are you stepping over it? Um, but in the end, you know, he stepped over it, and then it fell to. Um, I think it fell to Bernardo Silva. He his shot was then blocked, and then Kevin De Bruyne uh, put it in again. And uh, oh, how have we not scored? Um, yeah, and then Kevin De Bruyne put it into the empty net. And you know, I could see David De Gea was absolutely furious. You, you know, because he made the save. You know, why didn't Harry Maguire just clear it? He, instead of that, he just stepped over it, and it's oh, it's just so annoying. Um, so then that was 3-2, 3-2, uh, 2-1. Two, two, and uh, to be honest, again, like City didn't really hold the ball that well. And, you know, we got the ball back and we did have another chance through Sancho yet again. And Fred as well. Uh, Fred went through one-on-one -on -one and almost had a good chance. Uh, but in the end, yeah, it finished 2-1 at half time. So, you know, I was thinking, you know, regroup, get back into that, you know, regroup, get back into the changing room, you know, you know, like, you know, pretty, pretty much regroup and try again, you know, see what happens. But we just didn't turn up second half. Second half, we just didn't turn up. OK, Man City played 
according to Pep, he, you know, they played the best like 45 minutes of this season for them. But I don't think they really did. Um, I think, you know, I just let them have the ball. Everyone was just moaning at everyone. You know, nothing was happening. You know, every ball we was trying to get into the box, it wasn't, you know, every pass was just not there. We were giving the ball back so easily. And, you know, we they were just running about. And then, um, you know, Rashford and uh, Lingard came on. They were just as bad. Um, they just did not care for the least of it. And to be honest, I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not worried that, you know, um, because of that, but yeah, it's just that. And then City got their third goal. Once City got their third goal, it's like all oh, City. You know, they just literally passed it around, and in the end, it was just one of them. It was just one of them games where it was one of them games where you know we saw this under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, and this is what the type of play he got. You know, type of play that he got uh, fired for, and. You know, all the play. You know, the players have to take the blame. There's no nothing. You know, nothing on um, Ralph Ranick. He's he's done nothing wrong. You know, he's he set out the team, and you know, okay, we had no Ronaldo, but to to be honest, even with Ronaldo, I, I still think we would have lost this game. And uh, we did get a. They did get a fourth goal, obviously, uh, which was called off side, but VAR gave it. Uh, Mares just went through and scored. Um, but again, you know, it was just one of them games where we just didn't, we just didn't turn up. So in the end, it finished 4-1 and I was absolutely furious. And to be honest, I, I was expecting it. And in the end, you know, we just, we just, yeah, we just, we, we, we just, I don't know. We just gave up. You know, there was no urgency. There was, they weren't even playing for the shirt. They weren't even playing for the fans. They were just there to, you know, get their money's worth. Um, it was just, it was, so, it was just no leadership. You know, nothing. And if Harry Maguire is not dropped, he needs to be dropped. I'm sorry, but he was absolutely shocking and. You know, if, even with Ran, I I think you know Ran does have that leadership quality at the back. But when he plays, I'm sure when he plays with Lindelof, and when he does, you know, when he does play with uh, Harry Maguire as well, you know, we do kind of uh, get a good defense. But then I don't know. It's I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I literally just don't know. Um, but anyway, yeah, uh, this weekend we do have Spurs. It is a top four clash. Um, it is a must win if we need if we want top four. Um, Tottenham themselves they beat Everton four five nil and they've been on a good run uh, so far under under Conte. And um, it, yeah, you know it's not looking good for United because obviously um, Arsenal won. Um, and you know they Arsenal won in midweek. Uh, did they play yesterday? I don't think they did play yesterday, did they? Um, I don't know. They we need to we need to get a big victory. We need a confidence win, and to get a confidence win over um, over over uh, Spurs, that would be a good confidence win, I think, because obviously, like I said, they have. They have been playing pretty well, uh, Spurs, under Conte. And I wouldn't be surprised if they turn up and play like they did against City, where they, you know, they, they'll let United have the ball, but they'll counter with... Um, they'll counter with... Finally. we finally got a goal. <laughs> uh, yeah, we finally... You know, finally... We, we just need... I don't know. We just need to put in a good performance for the Old Trafford crowd, because if we don't... I could see him getting booed at half time or at full time because it's it's totally not you know not reliant to do that and we need you know good performance hopefully at Old Trafford because obviously we got uh, Atletico Madrid after this game in Spurs so you know I don't know I I literally just don't know anymore um so, um, I mean, the only good thing coming out of this weekend, coming out of this week, apparently, uh, is the Chelsea situation. So we can't really laugh. Well, I wish, you know, I wish we could laugh, but it's not, 
um, right to laugh, but the amount of stuff that's been uh, happening at Chelsea this <laughs> this week is unbelievable. Um, what they have to do as well. Oh, are you joking? Are you joking? <sighs> they got a kickoff goal. Uh, yeah, but yeah, but uh, two players that obviously we do have to look out for this for the Spurs game is uh, those two: Harry, uh, Harry Kane, Har yeah, Harry Maguire, no, Harry Kane, and uh, Harry Kane and um, Human Son. We got to look out for obviously because we uh, we yeah we t we need to get a big free. If even if we nick it, even if we don't play a good game, just play a good game we can't you know to be honest i could see a 6-1 you know like at spurs um that one time no wasn't that old trafford i think that was at old trafford actually um i could see something like that against against uh spurs and if we are not too careful that could happen again if we you know control if we control the ball and you know they'll just counter-attack us and let harry uh, let harry kane have the ball and stuff i wouldn't be surprised if they do beat us, something like that. But I just hope we get. An, I just hope we get, an at least a good effort from United. We just need a good couple minutes. Get a good couple minutes. Get score first against them and put in a good performance. That's all I'm asking. Um, but I personally, I'll, I don't think that's going to happen. I think we're either going to. It's either going to be like a one-one draw or Spurs are just going to come out and put three or four against us. The way we've been playing recently is so poor. Um, so anyway, I've, I've finished 1-1 and I will go with my score prediction as 1-1. So there we go. Uh, so anyway, guys, that is going to be it for today. Uh, next time, obviously, we will be back next week with... Oh, no, actually, have we got a game next week? I think we have. Uh, I, don't, I don't know, actually, have we? I'm not too sure because the Liverpool game got moved, didn't it? Um, I don't know. Uh, I don't know when we will be back, but uh, hopefully... We'll be back with the three points and we're through to the next round of the Champions League. Touch wood. Uh, but anyway, guys, like I said, I am actually going to end it here. So please like, comment and subscribe. And don't forget to leave your score prediction below. So right, guys, I'm going. Bye.